What's going on everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another This Gaia video. Alright everyone, today we're going to talk about gear. Now if you guys played This Gaia and you've been playing it since the beginning, you know that gear in this game, or the gear system in this game, is a little tricky. There is a lot of different sides to it, or a lot of different aspects to it. So it's kind of hard to understand it. So I'm going to break it all down for you here today, at least like the first part of it. I'm going to show you guys how to farm gear early on. Gear that you can use later in the game as well. Now gear does go by your rank. So it is hard to get end game gear early on, but there is ways to get higher ranking gear. And I'm going to show you all that stuff here today. So the first thing I want to talk about is where to get basic gear from, and that's going to be in your shop. So let's go over to that shop here. And that's right next to your facilities. And when we pull the shop up, you'll see equipment. And we'll see at the top here, we have customer rank 13. There's only one way to rank this shop up. So let me show you how to do that quickly. And that is going to be here under Dark Assembly. And I'm sure you guys already know this part of it. But I'm going to get into some secret gear stuff in just one second here. Stuff that you probably didn't know that I didn't know until people on Twitch told me. Now I'm able to get much better gear in a much faster pace. So here you have the assembly points. I don't have it open right now because this is based on the campaign that you do. The more main store you do, the more stuff you unlock here. So my shop is maxed for where I am in the main story. But if it wasn't, I would come here, I would spend 100 points, and I would make it rank 13, 14, and 15. So now let's go back to the shop here. And when we're buying gear from this shop now that we're rank 13, we are looking for gear that is rank 13. And we're looking for it to have at least two innocents on it. So if we look at our current gear here, we have rank 13, rank 12. But there is no innocence on this gear. So being that it's common gear, I would never buy this gear. Now if these knuckles had two innocents, I would buy them because they're rank 13. Even if I wasn't going to use the gear and it had two innocents on it, I would still buy it because you could still farm the chest, which I'm going to show you in just one second, which will give you higher ranking gear than your actual shop. But before we get into that, I want to show you a few examples. So here we have this rank 12 shooter edge and it has two innocents. Now this is rank 12. I could buy this, farm out the innocents, pop them off, and also farm chests at the same time. Where I am in the game, I don't really need to do that anymore. I'm really just looking for, you know, more high end gear. It really just depends where you are in the game and where you're rank is now one thing i do want to tell you guys is early on don't worry about gear too much it's really not that important don't worry about going into item world don't worry about buying from your shop because if you're like rank seven or rank six in the shop you're just not going to get good enough gear and it's not worth wasting your time now you can farm chests for higher ranking gear but your main focus should not be buying gear from the shop until you get your customer rank i would say to at least 10 or 11 and then you can start buying you know the gear that you need for certain characters that you're using at the time I think that's the best way to really go about it. So here we don't have anything I would really buy from this shop. We have rank 13s. Now this red beast here is an instant buy for me. It's rank 13. It has two innocents on it. I buy this every single time. And then I can farm the chest from it as well on stage 10, 20, 30, 40, and so forth and so forth. We'll get into that in two seconds here. And that is really the main way to farm higher ranking gear. So we'll look at the armor. We'll do the same exact thing. So we have rank 13 armor, two innocents. This is an instant buy. And we'll scroll down and do the same thing. So here's the same piece of gear. We're going to buy that. Because even if I don't use the gear, it's still my max rank. And I'm still able to farm chest and pop those innocents off and use them on different gear. That is why I like to do it this way. And as the rank goes up on your shop, you're just going to repeat this system. Basically, rinse, wash, and repeat depending on what rank you are in your customer shop. So I think you get the point here. Let's go to our equipment list here so I can show you how to pick the right gear to level up and which ones to farm. Now to give you guys a good example of how gear works and how important the rank is, because the rank is the most important thing of the gear. That's going to give you the most stats overall. Even if it's common, rare, or legendary, I noticed that rank is the most important thing and it really gives you the most stats. Even if you have a rank 12 and rank 13, that stat difference is pretty significant. And I'm going to show you right here with my Desco. So on Desco currently, we have this Wolf Fang. And if we look at the first piece of gear that I was using, which is on the right-hand side here, you'll see it has 2478 attack, and the left-hand side has 2873 attack. That is because the common one is rank 13, and the one on the left is rare, but it's rank 12. And the one on the left is maxed out at a level 100, and the one on the right is only level 15. So this shows you the difference in stats. Now, yes, I am using the one on the left because it has more innocence on it. And the one on the right, I had it early on. It only has one innocence. I was just using it because it had such high attack. But it shows you that you don't really need to go crazy with the gear. You can find good common gear that will give you almost the same stats that a rare piece of gear will. 
And looking at this just shows you that because again, this is level 15. So if I max this out to level 50, we'd probably be right around the same attack that we have here. And on the innocence here, I do have a couple attack boosts on top of it. And that's because this Wolf Fang on the left is rank 12. And this common one on the right is rank 13. Yes, it only has one innocence, but it's still giving me just as much stats as the one on the right. For me, especially with weapons, I like to make sure I match the weapon with the character. So for example, we have the Wolf Fang and it matches Desko's weapon. That gives you a stronger forte. So for me, it's really important to match it. Now you can get higher stats not matching it, but I think over time, having the gear matched and having you know the highest rank, the best piece of gear that you could put on that character, it is going to get you more stats in the long run. Now, if you're early game and you just need good gear and you're just looking for the highest stats, there is nothing wrong with not matching the weapon. But I have noticed that matching the weapon gives you more overall stats over time. That is something I've noticed switching gear around. So in all actuality here, I could have kept this common piece of gear and not even worried about leveling up this rare piece of gear. The reason I leveled up this piece of gear on the left is because I wanted to get the chest to get higher ranking gear. Anytime I'm going to put a piece of gear or change gear on my character, I always come to this page and I put them next to each other so I can see the stat difference. Because again, if you look at level 100, level 15, I should have never even changed this gear. I could have leveled up this common one and it would have carried me until my shop was, you know, higher rank or I got higher ranking gear. This is like a perfect example of what I'm trying to say here. So let's go back here and let's pull up the equipment list. Now I could talk about gear for hours and days because there's just so much going on in this gear system. I absolutely love the gear system in this game. It's a lot of fun, like there's so many aspects to it and I could sit here and go on and on and on. As far as the innocence goes, you always wanna farm the innocence on the gear. So if there's two or more, you could just farm that innocence, pop it off and then just leave that piece of gear alone. You don't necessarily have to use it. But in doing that, you're able to farm chest as well. So you're basically killing two birds with one stone. You're unlocking the innocence and you're also getting the chest to get higher ranking gear. So now looking at this page here, now if I wanna check the rank on the gear. So let's say here we have Knight Saber on our Val. We click him and we go to item worlds. And this is gonna show you exactly what rank the gear is, rarity, all of that good stuff. So we have rank 13. That is the highest rank of my shop. So I know that leveling up this gear is good for me. It has three innocents on it already. I already started leveling it up. It's level 11 out of level 100. And every 10 floors, I stop and get the chest. So level 10, level 20, level 30. I stop and I make sure I get the chest because that chest is going to give me a higher piece of gear. So now any gear I want to check here rank wise, I can just click on it and we'll see rank 13. And all the gear I'm basically using at this point is rank 12 or rank 13 because that's where my shop is. I wouldn't bring up anything that's less than that. It just wouldn't be worth it. I'd be losing way too many stats. So again, rank 10, I'll be taking this off of her and switching it for something higher. Then on our phone here, we have rank 13. So you get a common trend here and all of this gear has at least two innocent starting off. So I believe we're able to get six at the end of it. Now there's one more thing I want to show you before we get into this. And it's another perfect example. So we have this dagger here, which is rank nine and all the gear they start you off with this game is kind of a trap guys. They give you legendary gear starting off, but it's level one. It has max innocence on it, but it's terrible. It gives you like no stats. It'll give you like one attack or something stupid like that. And the gear is basically a trap. Don't level it up. Don't really touch it. Just take the innocence off it and put it on your rare and common gear. I promise you, you're going to get like five times the stats from it. I learned that the hard way. So for example, I leveled this up to 132. This is rank three. This gear is never going to give me stats anywhere near my rank 13 and rank 12 gear is going to give me. Let me just show you real quick so you can see it for yourself. And then we'll get into how to get this chest and how to get higher ranking gear. So let's click on our Val here and let's pull up his equipment. We have the Night Saber Sword. And this one is legendary, but I bought this one from my shop. So this is rank 13. So this is a really good piece of gear for where I am. It fits my Val perfectly. But if we scroll down here and we go to our first Saber Sword that we have, which is level 132, which was a big mistake on my part. And I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. We can see here that we're only getting 239 attack. So opposed to our 3,273 attack. And that is a huge difference, guys. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. Pay attention to the gear. Pay attention to the rank. The rank is the most important thing about your gear early on. Now, as time goes on, I'll keep, you know, playing with the gear, doing research. I don't think the innocents are that important early on. Yes, they help because you can get like attack boost, HP boost. So it is a plus and you should be buying gear that has two or more innocents on it. But I think that stats early on are the most important thing. So if you see the difference here, 
And it could be really confusing because you have a legendary growth sword that's level 132, and it's only giving you 239 attack. And then you have the same sword on the right hand side, which is giving you, you know, 3200 attack, and that just comes down to the rank of the equipment. So let's get into how to get higher rank and equipment for where your shop is. So if you're shop 13, you get 14 and plus. Because I think I explained it the best I can and giving you guys visuals will show you how this gear system actually works and how important rank is. So let's go back here and let's go to item world. Now this piece of gear is on 89, so this is perfect because again, it's on every 10 stages. So we're gonna do with this piece here. This is rank 13. So we're gonna go into the item world here and we're gonna make sure that this is not on auto. You don't want this to be on auto. You wanna kill the boss first and make sure you get the chest before you end the battle. So let's turn this off here. And we're just going to kill everything until we get to the boss stage. So we're going to do our AoEs and try to get rid of this stuff as quick as we can. Now, if you're on level 10 or level 20, it works the same exact way, guys. It doesn't matter what level it is. All the boss stages work the exact same way. Now, here we have the boss in the middle. He pops up on the screen. It says boss. So you know that is the one you want to take out first. So you're going to click on him, target him, and don't use AoEs because you want him to go down first. And this is how you're going to decide if you're going to finish the battle or end the battle. We're just going to hit attack, which is 80k. And you see there, we got super lucky. The chest dropped on the first hit. Now, this could take like four to six tries. The chest doesn't always drop. And if it doesn't, all you're going to do is click on the left-hand side where this menu is. You're going to give up the battle. And you're going to go back and do it again. The same thing we just did here. You're going to go through the first two waves. And then you're going to kill the boss. And until that chest drops, you are going to just rinse and repeat this method. Then once you see here that you have times one chest, you can finish the battle and you will get a higher ranking piece of gear. So let's close this out and all we're going to do is click auto and we're going to let the battle finish out and we're going to see what kind of gear we get from this chest. This is the best way to do it in my opinion because it allows you to level up your gear or gear you might not even be using. It allows you to unlock the innocence on it but it also allows you to get better gear as you do it. And I know doing it this way you can't just auto the gear to its max level because you don't know if you're going to get the chest. So every single boss stage, you're going to have to sit here and manually do what I just showed you. But this is the best way to do it. And this will give you the best gear as quick as possible. So let's go through here and see what we got. And that's what it is, rank 14. There is a lot more to talk about here, but we're going to get into that in another video. I just want this to be the basics of gear when you start playing this guy or your first week or two of playing this guy. And you could already see on that new gun that we got, we have 2,000 attack, which is really good for a common piece of gear. And if we scroll down here, you'll see this sword is only 376 attack. This hand blaster is only 54 attack. So it really does make a huge difference in doing these boss stages and getting that chest drop. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys so much for the support here on YouTube. I know we have been posting a lot this week, and that's because I'm redoing my setup. We are going to have a full revamp on both channels, and it's all thanks to you guys. I couldn't do it without you. So thank you guys so much for the support. We have the sub celebration giveaway going on, and that is linked down below. We are picking the winner on Monday, so this is your last chance to get a part of it. If you want to be a part of the random giveaway that we do here on YouTube, all you have to do is sub to the channel, like, and comment on my past 10 videos, and that's going to automatically enter you into the random giveaway. I'm going to pick a random giveaway winner alongside the sub celebration winner, and all this stuff is linked down below, guys, along with my Twitch and my Discord. We do two monthly giveaways on Discord, random giveaways on Twitch. I truly do love each and every single one of you. I will see you in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace.